Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Josie's Point of View where we focus on human interest stories from the Carolinas and beyond. Today it's Saturday and it's July the 29th, 2023. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend to you a warm welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you find the information here to be informative. And if you're returning viewer, by all means, thank you for coming back. You know, I always say the tide changes so frequently here on these YouTube streets that you always have to acknowledge where your support comes from. And I want you to know I sincerely thank you for your support. Feel free to like and to share this video. And don't forget to subscribe. And our story today comes from Union, South Carolina. Take a look at the headline. And it reads, fast food workers serve customers fries from the trash. I'll provide you with a summary here. And as always, I'll place links to a few of the full articles in the description box. So our video today is about food. And more specifically, it's about fries and not just any types of fries. Today, we're talking about dirty fries. And this is one story that should definitely capture your attention because it just might, it just might make you think twice before you make a decision to stop by another fast food restaurant. And we're going to focus specifically on a particular fast food restaurant. It's a Burger King restaurant located are on Dunkus Bypass in Union, South Carolina. That's where we're going to focus. Police recently arrested the restaurant assistant manager for the way in which she was serving food to her customers. And the information for this story came from the Facebook page of the Union Police Department, and it was posted on July the 17th. And the woman they arrested, this woman here, her name is Jamie Christian Mayers, and again, she was the assistant manager of that particular Burger King. And Mayers is now facing some serious charges that may result in her spending several months behind bars. And this is what has been reported about this case. Now, police say the initial incident took place on July the 11th. They say they were called to that Burger King on Duncan Bypass because two women were engaged in some type of altercation. The reports say the two women were being disorderly and using profanity when speaking with the employees. Now, when police arrived, the verbal altercation continued and both women were eventually arrested and charged with disorderly conduct. So a few days later, the police department received a call from the Burger King headquarters. I'm sure the restaurant has its own internal procedure to follow, especially after an incident that involves the police. But nonetheless, the restaurant headquarters notified the police that during their investigation, during the restaurant investigation, it was confirmed that on the same day of that particular incident with those two women, it was reported that Jimmy Majors took fries out of the trash can and serve them back to customers. Now, the only way the corporate office could get that information is if it was reported to them by employees on duty. Nonetheless, it was reported to police that may mayors took the fries out of the trash and dumped them back into the fryers with where she put fresh fries on top of them. They say she then placed the fries in a serving bag and served them or gave them to customers. Now, I guess Jamie was probably low on fries that night, and she wanted to make sure she had enough to, to go around, that she wasn't going to run out. I guess this is what might be called conserving precious resources. The dirty fries is taken out of the trash can and refried along with new ones, and then it's nothing new. It's like another day serving fries to customers. Now, what Jamie did is called food tampering, and it's covered by a specific U.S. code. Now, keep in mind that it's not just licking or spitting on people's food that's covered. In fact, as a definition, food tampering is the deliberate contamination of food products with the intent to cause harm. Now, let's be honest. If this happened to me or a member of my family, I would be annoyed. In fact, I'd be peed off. But do I believe this was a deliberate attempt to cause harm to customers? You know, I don't think so. 
and I'm not taking a side. I just don't believe she came to work that day already determined that she was going to take fries if they were ever in a trash can and go ahead and serve them back to new customers. I don't think so. She just made a stupid decision. But at the same time, you know, you can't help but wonder if she had ever done this previously. Whether or not she had done something like this in the past, or whether someone in the corporation gave her the impression that this type of action would be okay. And as you can see, the sentencing for tampering with con consumer products is pretty, it's pretty stiff. Uh, five to 20 years, and if someone dies as a result of it, it could even be life imprisonment. I don't think in this case it's that serious. It's serious enough. You know, because you can't take stuff out of a trash can and give it to people to eat. But I don't think it's to the point where anyone would have died as a result of it. Still, I wouldn't want it to happen to me or anyone in my family. So a warrant was issued for Mayor's arrest. She was charged with a felony, tampering with food products. And she's already had a first day in court where her bond was set at $20,000. I'll try to stay on top of this case if I can get more information. And I'll bring it to you as soon as it becomes available. And that's all I have for you right now. Feel free to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this video. And by all means, feel free to like it and to share it. And if you haven't done so already, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red subscribe button. It's on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And if you click on the bell that looks just like that one, that's the notification bell. If you click on that notification bell, you'll be the first to know whenever a new video is uploaded. I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.